Welcome back to the second video in the Brawlhalla Ultimate Guide series. Today's focus will be more for players that more or less already experience competitive gameplay and understand how the game works. If you missed the first video, make sure to watch it and then return to this one. Frame data will be mentioned a lot from here on out, so please pay close attention now if you want to understand later. Brawlhalla is a fighting game and like all modern fighting games, it runs at 60 frames per second. One frame, in the context of video games, refers to a single frame of animation. Each move in Brawlhalla is determined by three phases. Phase 1, Startup Frames. When you press a button to activate a move, your character will begin to initiate that move. The phase, from when the move starts to when the move has any impact on the game, is known as startup. Phase 2, Active Frames. The active phase of a move is the period of time in which the move has any kind of effect. For example, if it's an attack, the active frames occur when you can hit your opponent. Phase 3, Recovery Frames. The recovery phase of a move happens directly after the active phase is complete. This is the time when your character is recovering from the move they've done and returning to a neutral state. If you'd like to learn more about frame data in fighting games, check out the link in the description. Even though you can only spot dodge on the ground, it's the only dodge that carries momentum with it. So if you dash and press dodge right afterwards, you'll slide while maintaining your dodge. This can be extremely valuable for giving you invincibility frames while approaching your opponent. A gravity cancel can be performed in the air by cancelling your aerial spot dodge in any attack within the first 16 out of 20 frames of the dodge. Trying to cancel it after these first 16 frames won't have any effect. Keep in mind that your dodge will go on full cooldown for 163 frames even if you touch the ground afterwards, which wouldn't be the case for a normal aerial dodge. Cooldowns and how they work will be covered more in depth in the next video. Slide charging is performed by running or sprinting towards the ledge and holding the signature button right before falling. While falling down, you can control your momentum slightly by holding right or left in the very beginning of your fall. However, some signatures ignore gravity and can't be slide charged. A ledge cancel is performed by holding down in any attack while being in the air very close to a soft platform. When the bottom of your character's hurtbox is in this zone, performing a down light attack will result in the ledge cancel. Down signatures and ground pounds have an even tighter window. Jumping sideways makes ledge cancelling easier since you hover over the platform for a longer period of time. Ledge cancelling is also possible right after dropping through a platform. Sometimes ledge cancelling might be your only hope to survive and recover back to the stage safely. Dashes can also be ledge cancelled. However, to do a ledge cancel dash, you don't have to be holding the down button. Trades, or clashes as they're called in Brawlhalla, happen when both hitboxes and hurtboxes collide on the same frame. Clashing with any attacks or signatures will result in an even exchange of knockback and damage. But there are a few rules. First, Signatures have the most priority and will always win over light attacks. Also, grounded attacks have priority over aerial attacks. Gravity cancelled grounded attacks will still count as aerial attacks. The first exclamation point of wall slip appears at the 9th air action. The second exclamation point appears at the 12th air action and the third exclamation point appears at the 15th air action, which is your final one. After the third exclamation point, you will no longer be able to use your recovery, your air jump, or your air dodge. At any point the first exclamation point is reached, the total jump count is lowered by one. So if you trigger even just the first exclamation point, you will instead have a maximum of 14 air actions after you touch the ground again. This decrease goes down to setting off the first exclamation point after one air action, 
the second exclamation point after four, and the third exclamation point after just seven air actions. So what should you practice now? With these new movement tools, you should be practicing movement even more. Did you get used to jump fast fall timings from the last video? Now, get used to dash jump fast fall timings. Dash jump fast fall is one of the best approach options that you have. Also practice ledge canceling. Start with simple ledge cancels like sword downlight or axe downlight. Go to training mode, choose Enigma, set the bot to reset location and damage, and practice landing side light, nair, ledge cancel downlight on axe over and over until you get it consistently. Also practice gravity cancels and the way you can delay them by canceling your aerial spot dodge just before your 16 frame window expires. Delayed gravity cancels can give you more windows for punishes. Gravity cancel wake ups are very common at high level play. Eager to learn more about frame data? Did you know that the fastest neutral air in the game is unarmed neutral air, but that the slowest one is hammer neutral air? Did you know that Scarlet Down Hammer has the most force out of any move in the game? All that and more in the links below the video. Once you're sure that you've understood and can implement all the concepts from this video, move on to the next and final video. Thanks for watching.